And we have 22.3 properties of ocean water. Key idea here, salinity and temperature are two characteristics of water masses that help scientists study oceans and their behavior. Now vocabulary, salinity, water mass, mixed layer, and thermocline. I'm going to touch on each one of those. Make sure that you have those definitions prior to these notes. Objectives. Identify factors that affect salinity levels in the oceans and then describe the three temperature layers of the oceans. Now, oceanographers measure salinity, the dissolved salts in seawater, to trace water masses, which is a body of water with distinct properties based on where it originates. Just like we did air masses, their properties were based on where it originates. Same thing with water masses. Those properties are based on where it originates. Now, salt in, in the seawater is one of the major properties of a water mass. Now, if we break down the different ions in seawater, in general, chloride is number one, sodium is number two. Obviously, both of those combined make salt. Sulfates, magnesium, and all the others are lower percentages as well. Now, the relative proportions of ions is the same in all seawater, even when salinity is different. So, the amount, if you take seawater and you look at just the ions, and you separate the water molecules from those ions, you're going to notice that chloride is the most abundant, followed by sodium, and then all the others. When oceanographers know salinity and other properties of different water masses, they can trace a water mass as it moves through the ocean. Sir Edmund Haley came up with an idea of how the oceans became salty. He reasoned that rivers carry salts to the oceans from land and suggested that Earth's age could be determined by measuring the rate of salt being added. Now this idea failed to take in, into account salt recycled and underwater volcanic activity, but was widely used at that time um, to find the, try to find the age of the, of the Earth. He was actually one of the very first to record um, observable data in tracing or going back to how old Earth's actual age is, and it all has to do with the salinity of the oceans. Now, ocean water salinity varies. In deeper ocean waters, the salinity is close to an average of 35 PSU, which is a practical salinity unit, or PPT, parts per thousand. Now, water masses in different parts of the world have different salinities based on local conditions. Ocean salinity is lower in areas of heavy rainfall, such as those near the equator and above average in areas that are extremely hot or cold. Now most solar radiation is absorbed in the top few meters of seawater. Ocean temperature decreases rapidly with depth. Now oceanographers typically divide ocean water into three temperature layers. The mixed layer is the warmest, that's at the top, and the only zone with enough light to grow marine plants. Now wind and waves mix heat evenly through the mixed layer, that's why it's called the mixed layer, but it's only 2% of the ocean's volume. Now this may extend to depths between 50 and 300 meters depending on where it's located on the planet. Now below it is the middle zone which includes the thermocline, and that thermocline is a zone of rapid temperature drop, and then there's deep water which is very cold and has a fairly consistent temperature regardless of the depth or latitude. So the farther you go down into the deep water, the temperature really doesn't change all that much. That's it for 22.3. Next up, 22.4.